Today is July 17th, 2019, and uh, Hurricane Barry, or the remnants of it, dumped over 13 and a half inches of rain on the Diamond Search Field in 12 hours yesterday from midnight to noon. This area I watched on July 3rd, a bulldozer pulling discs and plowing this field, and there were really high furrows, and now that rain has pretty well leveled this area. But even flatter than, than this example, if we turn around here, this is the North Wash Pavilion. Look at this. <laughs> there were really high and deep furrows, rows, plowed here. And the rain that came through just leveled it like a bulldozer would. It is so smooth in here. Look at this. This is amazing to me. The power of erosion. It just pounded the lamperite soil and leveled those rows. There's a little bit left to show you that there actually were rows here. But otherwise, look. Look how flat, how flat that is in here. Well, what erosion does, it moves silt away from the rocks. And it'll leave diamonds exposed on the surface. Because diamonds don't move very well. They kind of tend to plop down like a like an old fat man and just sit right where they were. They don't they don't move as well as the silt because diamonds are dense and the silt is really light and it washes better. Um, in August of 1975, there was a big heavy rain and a retired janitor from Amarillo, Texas, came here and surface searched. And he walked down one row, and then it got real muddy, so he decided to turn around and retrace his steps. And when he did, he found this diamond, a 16 and a third carat, 16.37 carat Amarillo Starlight. It cut to a 7.54 carat marquee cut. And that is the largest diamond that has been found here since it became a state park. They're, they're, it also tells on the sign about a 15 and a third carat star of Arkansas that was found in 1956. And the shovel marker for it is over there, kind of near the old mine shaft building, because it was on Millar's Crater of Diamonds before it was a state park. So that 15 and a third was found in 1956, and this 16 and a third was found in 1975, both by surface searchers after a hard rain. So if you're going to surface search, the best time to come is after rain has pounded the ground, washed the silt away, and left the diamonds exposed on the surface. That's what I'm doing here today, and that's what most of these other people are doing. Some people are wet sifting today, partly because they can be in the shade while they're doing it instead of out here in the hot sun in mid-July. But the other good reason is the rain also washed gravel and concentrated it in the ditches and along with the gravel diamonds are concentrated there so if you seek out the gravel in the ditches then you can also find diamonds in it but i'm going to continue to surface search out here because um after hurricane gustav came through in i believe it was 2008 it dumped eight inches of scouring rain on this same diamond search field. And in one day, three diamonds over a carat were found on the surface. So now, yesterday, we had 13 and a half inches of rain. So that was even more. So maybe even more big diamonds will be found here today. Maybe I'll be one of them. I'm going to shut the camera off and get busy surface searching. <laughs> 